welcome to Seven Trumpets Prep. And in this video today, guys, we're here in Indiana. Yeah, we're checking out some prep properties. And I'm going to show you some exclusive behind the scenes of how they actually make panels in the United States. So let's check it out now. Here is what it looks like inside of a solar manufacturing facility. And these panels right here, for example, uh, these are probably 400 watt panels. They've got, right there's an example of one leaned up, and it just goes and goes and goes and goes. 435s right here, some. Is that what it is? And they, they kind of, Right there is a massive panel. Now guys, right here for whenever you're mounting your solar panels, obviously you're going to want uh, the racking. And uh, right there is an example of that. So guys, right here is like the, uh, the framing that you put around your panels to make the panels with and manufacture them. Right there is what goes around to protect your make the framework to bolt down. Well, I'm Brian May, and I want to introduce you all to Fred, owner of Pytex Solar here in Indiana. And we're going to be showing you some panels made here in the United States, which is not too common anymore. So here's Fred, and I said his company is Hitex Solar. So guys, Fred is going to take you and show you step by step how the solar panels made from something as simple as the sales to the finished product. So let's begin that journey. Up. There's 1,200 cells in this box here. We'll open these up. And we'll take these. And we'll put these in the Tabber Stringer machine. Okay, this is a Tabber Stringer machine right here where the strings actually come from. The raw solar cells are down at this end. A robot, that robot down there picks the cell up, puts it on a line down in here. It rolls down the line. Wire is pulled out off of the roll. This robot picks the wire up, slides in here, puts it on the cell. The cell comes down this belt right here into the reflow oven and this action just keeps happening until there's 10 or 12 or whatever you want in the string and then it goes down the other end and then down there that's the cell flippers. They t grab the cell by vacuum and then they flip it over and put it into a tray and that's where you bring it out to manufacture the solar panel. And then the strings that the machine makes come over here into this room, and then they're laid down on this table right here on glass with EVA. Bus wire soldered on the ends, insulation laid in. Connector soldered on the other end. Now you have a solar panel. The only problem is the cells are real brittle, so you have to protect it. So you take another sheet of EVA, you put it on there, A sheet of TPT back sheet. This is black, so this is going to be a black black panel. You get in on there. Now, after some inspection, this panel is ready to go to a laminator, and then it'll be laminated, and then ready for framing. Wow. This 
This is our mid-size laminator. This platen right here heats up to 145 C. We can put in 340 watt panels. This is a top vacuum chamber, bottom vacuum chamber. After the panels are in, we close the chambers. Clear. We vacuum under the bottom vacuum for four and a half minutes, top vacuum for seven. We take the panels out and that's what you see getting framing. So now after the lamp, this has been through our laminator. So after the lamination process, the cells are fully protected. So we'll take this over, we'll pull these leads up, and we'll take this over to our flash tester. Pull our curtain closed here so we don't flash our shadows. And oh. so now we're flash testing the panel to check its output. We'll get our readings up here. This will tell us everything about the panel. So this panel. It's 138.59 watts. This gives us our open circuit voltage, our short circuit current, our wattage, our volts at max power, our current at max power. It gives us everything we need to know about this panel. So this is more than within 1%. We're going to call this 140 watt. That's what it's supposed to be. Then this panel will go to the framing process. Okay, hey, now we've come to the framing station. Don's a framing operator. First thing we do is we silicone the frames that we've cut. Put a little bit of silicone in the end so they don't leak water in. I don't know if everybody does that. We're concerned about it, so we do it. This is the lead box over here. Silicone around it for its installation. That will come at the end of the framing process. Okay. Silicone knees. We'll grab one of the laminates out of the pile that come out of the laminator, put it in the machine. Make sure our frames are all tight. Now I guess now we'll move it to the skid. Then put it in the lead box. Yeah, we'll just keep the lead box in place so it don't fall when we send it over.
And that's it. Now you have a solar panel. Brian, I appreciate you letting us come on a tour no with problem. you, brother. And uh, me and Kevin's going to go check out a few properties and hit the road back down toward Tennessee and uh, hopefully get rid of the jackets. Yep. <laughs> it's still a little cold. Turn and burn. Yep. So guys, until we see you again here on 7 Trump Scraper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day. And y'all push away.